has a lot of guards in it. <laughs> and one treasure chest. Oh, it's Nyx's key. It's a good thing we got that then. And I guess we can fight these guys. Especially we can really get an insta kill on here. I can take this. There we go. Now if Celestine would heal Juto. Good. Your attack is monotonous. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> Boy, these guys are hurt. Luck is part of the strategy. Everybody. Oh, where did Nick's come from? Hmm, these barriers, I wonder if I can, uh, I can burn them. I cannot. Well, alrighty then. Okay, there's a couple doors in here. This is the main room though. Oh, that's a lot of pain. Oh, okay, there's barriers there too, so I guess I just go in here. This place! Oh, that's... is going on here? These are vessels we prepared to create Elgar. Vessels? Create? Nothing? You still can't remember that part of it at all. What's going on? Start talking! Elgar is... a being who was created by Shuenzite, his master. Elgar was created using wizardry called the Blood Pact, Essentially, he's a humanoid sentinel. Humanoid sentinel? The sentinels manufactured as monster weapons have an intelligence that is noticeably low, and are unable to carry out complicated orders. 
And so Shuenzite desired an intelligent sentinel that only he could control to help him purge the nobility who opposed him. What was created as a result was... Elgar. The Blood Pact itself was conducted by wizards, but the physical vessel used in the creation was made by me. Huh? Although it was under duress after I had been dragged to the laboratory by force. You were the first maid. In other words, first Elgar. And the current Elgar is second Elgar. He was created as your replacement when we believed you had died. And if second dies, they'll use the remaining vessels to create a third one. A fourth one, and so on. Probably. I think so. I'm terribly sorry. You don't need to apologize. The real one to blame is Shuenzite. Why would he do something like this? It's horrible! I remember. I was given life in this room. <sighs> and you, Nyx. You were here too. You are the first person I saw when I opened my eyes. Mommy? Elgar, your memories are... I see. So that was you, Nyx. I remember. Your memory has returned. Of all the researchers, you were the only decent one. All the others treated me like some kind of freak. When we received news of First's death, that's when it hit me. I realized just how cruel my actions had been. First. I'm so glad you're alive. It's one less weight on my conscience. I'll destroy all of the research data here. Good. Make sure no one creates a third. Not even by accident. Judo. I'm all right. Excuse me. But why would they bring the princess to this lab? Zephy? That was... because of a certain command. When Elgar first opened his eyes, Shuenzite carried out a powerful branding, that is, a deep imprinting. It was, the princess must not be harmed. Do not allow her to be killed. A master can only perform a single imprinting on a sentinel's command. That command is forever etched into the command, and it binds the subject so that it can never disobey until the day it dies. You must not allow her to be killed. That order takes priority over all others. You absolutely must not allow her to die. Oh, I see. That was Shuenzite's command. When he did it, you were there, weren't you, Nyx? Yes. I was there to observe the ritual. Actually, Shuenzite called the princess the Magna Carta back then. Do you remember? Magna Carta? Why? She is this world's precious Magna Carta. She will polish her command on the battlefield, to make it shine all the brighter. As I recall, that's what Shuenzite said. Juto, are you okay? You've gone completely pale! I have a terrible feeling about this. We have to find Zephy and fast! I understand. Time is of the essence, isn't it? The truth was one painful blow after another. Inside my head, fragments of memory were washing over me like a tsunami. But my heart was growing emptier and emptier. I would have been better off not knowing that this was my past. All so many treasure chests.
All with such nice things in them. Okay, now let's talk to the shiny thing. Celestine, look at this. This looks like a device used to store research records. Among the headings is one labeled Vizen Research Results. Research? What's written in it? This report details results of an experiment in which the body of a warrior of excellent abilities was used as raw material. I don't believe it. Experiment subject, Swordsman Vizen. Experiment directors, Pure and Claire. So it was a Sentinel manufacturing experiment. Damn. They even used Celestine's father. No way! Papa! He got turned into a Sentinel? It goes on. Subjects Gigantism and Rampage. Capital's urban center destroyed as result. Unclear if this was result of Subject's altered mind or his toughened body, but it has revealed some of the risks of monster-style sentinel construction. After destruction of Urban Center, Subject was captured, then transferred to Ruhalt Plateau. Disposed of at Ruhalt Plateau. Celestine, I'm sorry. So the damage in the capital wasn't all due to the war. Part was because of a sentinel experiment. What slimy bastards. Uh, so, Papa's gone. Celestine. He died. That's why he never came to see me. Otherwise, he probably would have come back to Kotamari at least once. I... I need to tell the chief. Tell her that Bison Silver is dead. Celestine, at times like this, you need to let it all out. <laughs> Argo! Celestine, let's go to the Ruhalt Plateau and look for Vizen. Argo, thanks. You will never find him if you simply search at random. What I think we should do is go look for someone with ties to this incident. Someone who was involved with the experiment, huh? It's not like we can go up to Huron and Claire and ask them to tell us. Let's do some digging. Even if we look for him now, I don't think that we would be able to recognize him. I expect he was discarded as he was after the experiment. Alright, and now that we've done all that, let's go to Lab 4. Letter. <laughs> really? Right now? Oh, okay, this is like a impromptu quest. So, uh, we have to defeat two sentinels. Yeah, there you go. Now we have the quest. thing to note before we do anything here is that there is a safe spot your attack is monotonous it is heavily guarded <laughs>
reason to have my guard down. Time. on you makes your uh, stamina come back a lot slower. <laughs> At least that's what appears to be happening right now. That went well. So it's kind of making chains even more important because it's a quicker way to get stamina back. going into these rooms. It's a manufacturing room, so there's probably one of those bosses in here. Yes, yes there is. I will protect the princess. Super attacks in here. There we go. Yeah. 